Hi guys, it's Heidi and welcome to Crafted and Company. I have another haul. So only a few things did I thrift. The rest of it I got at the neighborhood garage sale today. And oh, I'm so excited to show you guys everything I got. So first I want to start off with, I gave myself a hundred dollar budget okay so I spent my hundred dollars and when I spent my hundred dollars I stopped that was that I think I did pretty good my neighborhood garage sale was this weekend okay I've been looking forward to it I put my money aside for it let's get into it because I'm just so excited to show you guys everything I got. Now, I will, like I normally do, go through and let you know what I'm keeping and let you know what I'm selling. So, I can't even begin to tell you, like, what I bought first. But I know that we went to um, a, cup, a couple. Let me just start with um, what I thrifted. Uh, and it's just a couple things. It's really not much. So, um, I think I'm going to be the shoe lady. I, I think I'm going to be the shoe lady, the hat lady. I don't know. I think that everyone kind of finds their niche and that might be mine. I don't know. I don't know. But... If you saw my last video, video, you know what I'm talking about because I bought a ton of shoes. Okay, so I found these men's um, size 10. They are like brand new. They need just a little bit of cleaning, but these Keens are in excellent condition. Excellent. Like I said, they just need a little bit. Like, whoever wore these, again, took really good care of them. I was at a thrift store a couple days ago, just happened to be in the neighborhood and stopped through a Goodwill. And they had the first pair of Patagonia shoes I've laid my eyes on, you know, in the wild. And, oh, I was so tempted. They were only $5.99. And they were in pretty good condition, but the only problem was the, the inside lining right on one of the heels was just worn away and you could see the foam. And I was like, oh man, oh, I was so bummed. You don't know how that just hurt. It hurt. I had them in my cart. I looked them over really good. I ran a comp on them. I'm like, Oh, this hurts. This hurts my heart. But I had to put them back. So anyway, um, these I should be able to get probably anywhere from 45 to 55 for these, plus shipping. So excellent condition. So those are my first. So I thrifted those, and I paid $4.99. $4.99. So I thought that was just an excellent buy. So look at those. Look how nice those are. Very nice. Okay. Then I found, so Tervis is a really good brand. And this is Iron Man. And, you know, so Marvel. And you can't go wrong with Marvel, and you can't go wrong with Tervis. So you got a, you got a twofer right there. And so, um, yeah, so I'm going to list that. It's in really good shape. And I picked that up for like $2.49 at Goodwill. And I should probably be able to get about $14.99 for it. So this is like just a little bread and butter item. But if you see Tervis, pick them up. Bolo. Keen Bolo. So if you see them, pick them up. If they're in good shape. Only if they're in good shape. 
Okay, and you know me and my false graph. Another vintage piece. And I already own one of these, but I thought how nice will it look in my hutch with my terrine and then my big oval plate with a dish, with a covered dish. And then I have another big oval plate and then I can do a covered dish on that with like stacks of plates, whatever. So $6.99, yeah. So I am finding this lately, a lot. And uh, my cat wants in, so he's knocking at the door. So let me go let him in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Sorry about that. That's the glory of filming, isn't it? This adorable, it's big, made in Mexico mug. And I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't uh, more than a couple bucks but I love that pottery. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So that is, oh, and I got this for a dollar 44. And so just a Cubs. MLB hat and a Cardinals. So I lied. I had six things. Okay. All right. And the rest is the garage sale. So let's dive into that. So with, since I just showed the hats, I found a Seattle Mariners. And I paid a dollar. I think each hat was a dollar. And then I got this trucker style with the mesh. Cardinals hat. And here is an athletics hat. And this is one size fits most. And a lot of these have the Velcro. All but one. This is the only snapback. The Cardinals. Now, I pers for me personally, as a ponytail bun wear, I love the easy Velcro. For me personally. Because I can just put it on. The one I have on now is Velcro. And it's Nike. So, that's my preference is Velcro. But some people maybe don't like any adjustable. They like a perfect fit. Uh, but you know, I'm not going to be selling these hats for a crazy amount of money. They're not like 47 brand. Um, one of them might. Oh no. I listed a New York Yankees hat that was a 47 brand, but none of these are 47, but they do have the couple of them have the MLB emblem on them. So anyway, kind of getting into hats. So I'll be the hat lady, but you know, I think I will look at hats because I wear hats all the time. My cat is laying on my pile. Look, well, I will do all the shoes, all the shoes. So I got these and they are Merrill's. Merrill got it right. Okay. And they are in really good shape. Now, I tried these on. They are a men's eight and a half, okay? And they are like a gray suede in very good condition, like hardly worn. Called like, I'll put a, um, a comp up of what they are actually called. So I thought they were called maybe something barefoot or 
You can almost see like the toe, you know. It's just really great tread. But they were really comfortable. So, you know, oh yeah, barefoot. Meryl, barefoot. If you can see in there. Yeah. <clears throat> but anyway, these are sharp shoes and they're like, I don't think they were worn, but not much. I can tell you that. I wouldn't say they're in brand new condition by any means. But, uh, gently worn, we'll say that. Gently worn. So, I'll put the comps up for these. The comps up for the Keens. And they had, like, five bags of shoes. And originally, I thought, and I, and I should have kept, and didn't even have to dig far. But, we all know how much Crocs cost. These are brand new. And we all know how expensive Crocs are, okay? And um, once I got to the checkout, see, originally I thought everything in those bags was $5 a piece. And then when I got all done picking out the Crocs that I wanted, she said, anything Croc-like, two bucks. She considered these Croc-like. Unbelievable. Crocs, two dollars and these um my daughter my youngest my baby we love crocs we're a croc wearing family and she said we're keeping these <laughs> so i'm like okay we're not getting rid of those but that's okay because we have these Very nice. These actually are brand new. Never worn. So, new without tags. Leather. This is the leather. Very nice. Very, very nice. Sharp. And these are a men's eight. And I'll be honest, I'm going to slip it on real quick. That one, I mean, I could get away with wearing it, but it's a little big. A little bit. But uh, definitely selling these. And I would say... Um, Crocs are a bolo. If you see them and they're in good condition, pick them up. Because Crocs are expensive. Then, these. So, these are a men's seven. And I'm a women's nine, and they fit perfect. Like, they feel amazing. But I'm not keeping them. Don't need them. But, yeah. Very clean, very excellent condition. So, $2.00. And here they are, very, very similar and tan, like, and the tread is all still there, like, they're not worn down. I'm telling you, this ha man had so many pairs of shoes, there's no way that he could have worn them all. It's crazy. And uh, so, yeah, $2 for those, and they're size men 8, men's 8. And then regular style Crocs in the tan, and they are a men's 7 or a woman's 9. So, a men's 7 is a woman's 9. 
So, so far, the only ones I'm keeping are the, gr the gray that we're keeping. Okay. And then there's these with the leather top. And he wore these. Um, there's some mud on them, so they need cleaned off. But uh, otherwise, excellent condition. Soles are like not worn down at all. Not at all. And these are a men's seven. So, but I tried this on and I wanted to keep these. They fit perfect. I love them, but I don't need them. I don't need them, so they will be posted. So even though a lot of these say like men's sizes, um, so I, w I would say any of these could be worn by women too. Like just cause they say men, I would totally wear those. So, so that is it for the Crocs. Then, for $10, $10, brand new in the box, Tiva hiking ankle like boots, brand new, still has all the cardboard inside of it these are nice very nice brand new 10 bucks still has the tissue paper like this one is still wrapped up He never wore these. This man loved him some shoes. That's all I can say. So, these are a men's eight and a half. New in box. New with tags. New, new, new. And... I'm not finished running comps on those yet. So all I can say is I'm not even halfway done with my haul. Maybe a quarter of the way. And I've already probably tripled my money. Yep. I got this Nike dry fit women's so it's extra long it's a uh, st. Louis Cardinals and it's got like the little slit on the side and with like a cute pair of leggings I could just see like if I was a Cardinals fan I would put on like a cute pair of like black leggings and then um, some cute shoes. And um, then I would put my little St. Louis Cardinals hat on and my ponytail. And um, yeah. I just think that would be so cute. <clears throat> anyway, it is Nike. It is like so soft and feels so good. Like it says dry fit, but it really is so soft and it looks new. It's really in excellent condition and so cute and sporty. And, um, or wait, is it a medium? Yeah. 
women's women's medium. I know the last video I did, I had on a black sweatshirt. And that was a bad idea because I was showing some dark items and it didn't show up well against my sweatshirt. So I realized I can't film thrift haul videos in a black crew neck or anything black. Okay, this next thing is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell this or keep it. It's a vintage World Atlas book. And it's got, I don't know if you can see it, a ship. See that? There, perfect. And I love that. So it's a world atlas. And it's got all over the world. I mean, duh, world atlas. With pictures. Just so much. A plethora of information. So cool. And because I decorate like nautical, to me that's kind of cool. Because there's a ship on there. And I don't know. I think it's kind of kind of goes with sailing and navigation and talks about all the bodies of water and I don't know. Super, super neat. So it talks about every country. I'll have to look through it. So I don't know if I'm going to sell it or not, but um, I tried to run a comp. I did run a comp, and they just don't sell for much. But I think I only paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it or not much. So that's why I bought it. These handcrafted wood boxes are really hot sellers. This is so unique. And it's solid wood, and look at the detail on that. That is so beautiful. And it does sit. I think it almost would probably do better if, I mean, it does close all the way, but I feel like it would almost do better if it had like a little latch or something right there. But I just don't want to add anything or take away from it, you know? Like, it's not signed or marked anywhere on the bottom, but it's put together with nails. And, like, even the hinges, this is vintage. This is old. Even the hinges are, like, nailed on. Very neat piece. So I was looking these up, and, I mean, there isn't, this is hand-carved. There's not another one like it. Um, that I can see like online but these are actually valuable it's beautiful so I, I will list this this will get listed and um, it's the first like really beautiful wooden box like jewelry box or little storage box that I've found I've seen some other ones really icky at thrift stores and stuff but um, this was really pretty and I wish I knew how much I paid for it now. I think just like a couple dollars. If that, like it was cheap, maybe a dollar. I remember the prices at her sale for the most part were pretty good money. Okay. So these Monarch pickleballs, these are pickleball rackets. Okay. There's two of them. They sell these at Dick's, this brand, at Dick's. The only thing is, when you buy this, it comes with two pickleballs, okay? But anybody who's a pickleball player, I mean, you can get pickleballs separately. 
but they were they were not with this I don't know if she lost them or what but this sells for I believe $59.99 with the two plastic pickleballs at um, at Dick's so I will probably because I mean those pickleballs can't be that expensive I would say the rackets and these are she said they were never used she said they actually never used them they're still brand new and so the balls must have just probably got misplaced or something. But you can tell these are brand new. I, I took them out and looked at them. I paid 50 cents. Or was it? Might have been $2. I might be thinking of something else. Anyway, it's still a good deal because these are still worth. You take the two balls away fact that they're brand new they're still worth at least 30 so definitely you see brand new pickleball rackets brand new if you see brand new pickleball rackets pick them up maybe even used ones too like if they're in good condition now who doesn't need a boot dryer she plugged it in for me Got it all heated up. I paid two dollars, two bucks. For this boot dryer. And you can set the temperature. Oh, set the minutes, there's a timer. Sorry, not temperature. There's a timer. So you can set it for, looks like all the way up to 180 minutes. So you just adjust it and yeah. So I looked up these. There were sold comps on just the dry guy. The dry guy. Next, this. Now, I paid $7 for this because it is new in box. Now, I'm opening the box, okay? But it hasn't been undone. Everything is still in there, wrapped up, sealed. Everything is new in the box. Like... The packaging, everything is there. So I wouldn't even say like open box. Cause yeah, like even when you're in the store, so many people open boxes and look and whatever. But this is selling brand new for like seven, I think like $69.99 at um, Lowe's. And I guess I need to tell you what it is. It is a gravity-fed HVLP spray gun. So you need a um, air compressor to hook up to it. Um, there's good money to be made there because I will still sell it under what you would pay for it at Lowe's so that people, you know, know they're getting a deal. Okay, so we got that. Now... This is a Logitech, like, smart remote, okay? So, it comes off the charging port. How nice is that? And you have to program it. Um, I guess you have to get online, like, on your computer and do, like, some kind of it this doesn't have instructions with it but they there are structure instructions available online and if I can find some maybe I will print them off and then include it with it you know just a printed off form sometimes you can do that you can go to like the site like and then print off but these work 
the husband um, at the garage sale said these work beautifully. There's nothing wrong with them. He's just kind of a techie guy and he probably has already upgraded. Who knows? Um, these are also the Harmony um, technology. And um, so basically you can program this to work every TV in your house. Every smart TV would have to be, I, I believe, a smart, I believe it would have to be a smart TV. And I think this is a touch screen. There's a screen in there. And it's a touch screen. Every comp I pulled up on this said it was a touch screen. So. So this is, um... The ones that I pulled up, like on Amazon, this one's selling for like 800 and something. And then this one I saw for 399 and it is also a Logitech. And it has the um, like sticker still on the screen. Or does that just stay on there? Oh no. That peels off. So there's, that's just like the, so that's, that's still. And then you peel that sticker off and then the screen's behind it. But this is really nice too, in excellent condition. Works great. So it's right there on a sticker. Works great. And uh, the battery is not in it, but it is right here. So, yeah. So these are definitely Bolo's. Oh, there was a lot of sold comps on them um, and recent ones that were pretty, pretty decent, pretty good. So I paid seven for this one and it's the same concept as this one. It's the same brand, just different style and maybe a newer model. I don't know. I'm going to do some more research on them. Okay. So again, I don't pick up a lot of clues. But I found this Fox t-shirt. And we all know people love Fox racing. And so just black, simple with the red Fox. And that is a medium. So that will get listed. But uh, probably for maybe, I saw one brand new listed for $24.99. So I will probably list this for like $14.99 or something. I only paid a dollar for it. So then, um, as I've said in uh, previous videos, you know, I'm always buying games. And that's, um, this one is called uh, Fact or Crap. And I just thought that that would be, it's by imagination and it says adult or ages 12 and up, but, uh, the cards are kind of a mess in there needs organized, but I got this to add to our game collection and, um, I think it was only like 50 cents, something like that. So that's for us. Okay, then I found this vintage Daisy stripper. Strip, stripper, right? <laughs> Daisy stripper. It is an electric peeler, you guys. So I made K 
canned apples last year and me and my mom sat down because my daughter has like an apple orchard in her yard. So I went down and I mean, I, I had bags of apples and I wanted to can them. And maybe I will do that again um, in the fall next year and I didn't do a video and I should have, totally should have. But, Okay, so this, I definitely want to, you know, play with it, because this is cool. It doesn't really look super vintage. I mean, it does and it doesn't. So it's got an on-off switch. You just stick this thing in your potato or your apple. One... And then this blade, um, you set it. It's got like a spring and you can set it. And, um, and then under, in this compartment here, I opened it up and it's got four brand new blades in it. So it's got the blade on it and then four brand new ones in this little compartment here. It's really clean. Looks like it's hardly been used. And uh, I ran some comps on this as well. And I paid $3 for this one. Um, but the comps are pretty good. I mean, considering. And uh, some... I don't know, anywhere from $24.99 all the way up to maybe $40 ish in that. But I only paid three bucks for it, so. If you see a Daisy stripper, I would say she's a bolo. Oh boy. Okay. Then I'm, I'm starting to get down there. So I came across this game, Risk. And this is Risk, the game of global domination. Hmm. Here's the board. And I bought this game at the same place I bought that beautiful wood box. So here's the board. Looks to be in good condition. Looks very, very well cared for. And then it comes with all the pieces. And she checked with her son and he said everything's there from 2003. So 20 years ago. And, uh, yeah, all the pieces. I ran some comps on it, and they're kind of a little bit all, the sold comps are a little all over the board. Um, I need to dive a little deeper into that, too. But by the time, again, you watch this video... So, but I paid a dollar or two dollars for that. Okay. So, in a previous video, I had a newer version of this that I think was from 2000, I think. And... This, and it looked different to me. I was like, why does this look so different? It's because this is the one that I remembered. And this was from 1983. 80, 1982. This is, you know, definitely definitely vintage like
40 years. But this is, um, these vintage electric, electronic, or vintage games, like, the ones that are worth a little more, I mean, pick them up. I don't know if I would necessarily call them like a bolo, for sure, but maybe. Vintage games, yeah, bolo. Oh, I paid 75 cents for that. 75 cents. Yep. I'm getting to the end. I'm getting there. Okay, so at the one garage sale where I bought the remote controls and the dry guy, that was literally the last sale we went to. And my money was just burning a hole in my pocket. But, uh, no, they had some good stuff. Um, I had to pay up for some stuff, but, I mean, in the end, it'll be, you know, worth it. And I don't really consider $10, paying $10 for a very good electronic item is paying up. I mean, I didn't pay any more than $10, $10 for any, like, thing that I got. High, that's the highest price I paid for any of it. So, yeah. Okay, so this game, never heard of it. It's called Rogue. And there was a sign that said both games $1. So they sold them together. So it was a dollar for both of these. And I haven't opened them up. I did look some up. Um... And, but I just, I don't know enough about these. Uh, I mean, I paid a dollar for both of them. So even if I sold each one for like $14.99 ish, you know, or gosh, even if I sold, I could probably even go a little lower than that if I had to, to make, you know, a pro I mean, I, I paid a dollar. So I got 50 cents. In each one so yeah like I said the game rogue it's like a epic clash where winner takes all the battle pit playset includes two exclusive battleship warriors yeah and then, and then they sell, I noticed um, when I was looking this up, other warriors, um, like people are selling like more parts to this, more things that go with it, I guess. But interesting. Okay, so those will get listed. Then my grandson, he turns, um, he turned 11 on the 27th, and um, so he loves to go camping, and um, my little guy was diagnosed with severe aplastic anemia uh, uh, one day after his ninth birthday in 2021. Um, he was, he is a patient with St. Jude in the Children's Hospital. He is, um, a very sick little boy and, uh, he was able to, um, make a wish for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And he made a wish for a new camper. And uh, so that's what he got. And they picked it up today. And I believe it's a 2023 Coleman 17B. And it sleeps five, has a kitchenette, a bathroom with a shower, 
and uh, it's got a sink in the kitchen, like the whole nine. And um, he, I haven't talked to his mom, my daughter today. Um, she was too busy because his birthday party's tomorrow, and so she was too busy trying to get like everything um, running around like a chicken with their head cut off because they had to drive to some camp, the wherever I can't remember the place. I'd have to look um, wherever the place was that he had to go pick up his new camper, and he didn't know. Like she surprised him, and it was just like a really huge deal. But so I was trying to do like a camping theme um, birthday and I got him. He wanted a crank flashlight. So I found one at Target that has a siren on it and a radio and it cranks. And uh, so everything he wanted and more. And, um, and then I got him. I picked this up at a uh, little camp lantern for $3 brand new at the garage sale where I picked up all the Crocs. They had a ton of these too. They had like um, a whole box of these, but I just bought one of them for him. But I thought he would think that was pretty, pretty cool. So, yeah. All right, so I got him that. So, and um, also, too, I didn't know if I said his name. His name is Oscar. He's 11. And um, please put him in your prayers and just pray for complete healing for him. And um, maybe I'll do a video at a later date to help educate people on severe aplastic anemia or aplastic anemia, period. Um, and just kind of educate people a little bit about that. It's an important thing to get educated on that. Uh, they had a benefit for him and um, for people to get tested with Be The Match to see if they were a match for Oscar. He made our local news. Um, and it's very rare, he's an only child. And uh, only like say, Say if he had a sibling, there was a, there would only be 25% chance of that sibling being a match for him. So the fact that he didn't have any sibling at all, of course they would test mom and dad first. They weren't a match. Um, 40 is the cutoff age and you have to be at least 18. So there's like this window that they can actually be a donor of bone marrow. Um, so it's that kind of hard because there could be a match out there somewhere that just isn't 18 yet, or there could be a match out there that's over 40 and healthy and perfect, but they won't even, because I guess it has something to do with the chance of the bone marrow transplant actually like, like really working the older the donor the less chance that is so but yes I have educated myself I reached out to um, groups on Facebook I've actually had phone conversations with survivors of aplastic anemia with severe aplastic anemia um, aplastic anemia is not a death sentence but is that a possibility I mean unfortunately yes doesn't mean he's going we don't even like to think about that so but anyway that's that um so let me just keep keep going but yeah so I got this nice utility lamp he's like that's pretty bright but I've been wanting to get one of these so I was super glad to find one for three dollars so, got that. And that's for me to keep, of course. Then I got this mug holder to hang your mugs on. Look at that. A fish. How cool is that? 
That looks to be handcrafted for sure. But a fish. Now a fish, a fish loving fisher man would appreciate that. So neat. And I paid two bucks for it. And that will go on uh, eBay and Macari. Solid wood, all of it. And I thought that was so neat. I bet that's original. I bet there's not another one out there like it. I'll Google lens it and find out. But I saw that and I'm like, ah, so cool. And then to go with it, there's this GH Bass and Company mug. And it's so nice and thick, but with the fish on it. So, you know, there you have it. I wish there would have been four of these. Oh, and then it says GH Bass and Company on the other side. It's ha that's a nice mug, very nice. Very, 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 very nice. It says Rainbow Trout. Oh, I don't know all the names of the fish, but it says them all right there. Anyway, so I got that. And then I think this is going to be the very last item, and it's a keeper. And I paid 50 cents for it, and it's solid brass, and it's a clip. But it just looks like a ship like that. But I have my little nautical theme going on, so I'm going to... I think it's really neat. So, and I'm gonna leave it patina like that because it's all patina. But might be my favorite to have done. I was tickled to find that though. Oh, and then um, two other things I got. I got uh, my mom collects Blue Delph from Holland. And you always know it's real Blue Delph if it says Holland on it. Well, and or Blue Delph, but um, a little miniature pair of shoes, the little Dutch shoes. And uh, she had a pair of them when I, you know, that I remember growing up. And um, she said one broke and she only had the one shoe left. And I didn't even know that. But I saw those today, and um, I was like, "Oh, I gotta give, I gotta get it for." Her. I think I paid fifty cents for them. So cute, and they're just like itty bitty, like maybe an inch and a half, two inches max. But I don't even think they're two inches. And then I got her this vintage from like nineteen sixty three um, straight pens, but they're in a spiral rolled up a, um, there are so many pens I can't remember what the box count was it was a lot maybe a thousand five thousand I don't know there was a lot of pens but the box was so cool it was like that green vintagey um Maybe I'll try to get a picture of it, but she, my mom was a seamstress for years and years and years and years, and she just loves to sew and create and make stuff and design. And so more than anything, it was just kind of like, I thought honestly, by looking at the box, it was probably like from 1940s or something. And so did she, I thought it was much older than what it was, but still pretty old. 1963 is a, is a long time ago. So yeah, it was before I was born. So, but anyway, guys, I think that concludes my video for today. So I think I will, I will leave it here. Um, it's getting to be a long video, but uh, maybe by the time I edit, I can get some of that 
shortened down. I always try to do that and sometimes I go on like this in a video and then I'll cut out a bunch. <laughs> like, oh, why'd you spend 15 minutes talking and then you took it out? <laughs> that is 15 minutes of my life I will never get back. <laughs> Anyway, guys, it is um, Saturday night, and uh, I'm going to wrap it up, so hopefully I will be able to get this edited. I have Oscar's birthday party tomorrow, um, but hopefully I will be able to get this edited in the next couple days and get it out there. Um, I'm trying to get at least one video out a week. Um, I have to get my house completely organized so that I can DIY and but I also want to paint I'm gonna probably buy my paint this week so I have got to get things cleared out so that I can start paint prepping all the walls patching all of it taking stuff off the walls it's just gonna be a clean slate and then stuff might go back like where it is already but I want everything just fresh I am adding a pop of color in my dining room and kitchen so that'll be exciting um, and I'm going to sell my hutch I'm going to probably get that listed on marketplace this week and I have the new hutch that I'm gonna be doing and uh, bringing that in in its place so um, I want to get I got to get this out of here and what better time I need it kind of gone for when I paint but I'll have to pack up everything that's on it and I'm still decorated for Easter but I was just kind of waiting to do all that at once and it'd be fun to do like a clip where I'm taking everything off of it and then I am redecorating my new one I might do something fun I, I try to think and rack my brain with creative ideas to make videos interesting so sometimes I might fall short so um, you can always leave comments uh, of some neat ideas you might want to see so I'm all I'm all for the ideas so anyway guys thanks for watching Please like and subscribe and share with your friends if you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one.